Do you want to take your data science and analysis skills to the next level? In this video, I discuss 11 tips to help you level up. Tip number one, review fuzzy concepts. We all have them. Those concepts we kind of get, but deep down inside, we know we could and should learn better. For the longest time, combining data sets and pandas was a little fuzzy for me. I mean, there are so many ways to combine your data. Merge, join, concat, and append. Ugh. I mean, that's only four, but still, seems like a lot. Here's a little embarrassing confession. I used to clean my data in pandas, and then when I needed to combine data frames, I would export the data to a CSV, open it in Excel, and then manually combine the data. I know. Awkward. Can't believe I just told you that. I did eventually start combining data sets in pandas, but it was a struggle. I would fumble my way through trying merge, join, append, and concat until I got something that looked like it worked. I did eventually take the time to learn this concept and life did improve from there. So review those fuzzy concepts. Tip number two, get fresh data. Practicing your skills on some new data you've never used before can be a good way to reinforce your abilities and showcase some of those areas you might not be as strong in. Plus, when you're done, you can add that project to your portfolio. Bonus. The real question is, where do you find data to practice on? I'm going to make a video in the future on this, so keep an eye out for that. And also, I'll leave a few links in the description below. Tip number three, just keep reading. This tip comes from my good friend Dory. Just keep swimming, I mean reading. This is perhaps the best way to shine light on what we don't know, because how are we supposed to know what we don't know if we don't know that we don't know it? It doesn't even have to be too technical, the things that we're reading. It can be blog posts online. Those can be a great source of knowledge. Tip number four, take advantage of your local library. Yes, this is just an extension of tip number three, However, there are some good resources at your local library that you might not be aware of. In my library, there are some good books on technical data science topics that I have borrowed. Even more importantly, there are some great books on how to think like a data scientist slash statistician slash analyst, which in my opinion might be even more important than learning the tools of an analyst. My favorite books I've read so far from the library are these right over here. If your library doesn't have any of these books, oftentimes libraries will allow you to make book requests and they will order it for you. So bonus. Tip number five, listen. Listen to podcasts. This is a great way to learn the culture of data science. The best part of this is you can listen to them while you are driving, washing dishes, shoveling snow, gardening, working out, etc. Links to my favorite podcasts below. If you're finding any value in these tips so far, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up or a like and commenting. I'd really appreciate it. Tip number six, answer questions. The first time I answered someone else's data science question, it was a rush. Answering questions can be a good way to build confidence, reinforce learning, and deepen your understanding of that concept. All right, that sounds good, but where do you find questions to answer? Stack Overflow, baby. People are asking questions on there literally every day. Another good place to find questions is the comment section of YouTube, but what if you can't answer those questions? That's all right. Someone else is likely to answer them and then you can go back and see what the answer is and learn from others. Which leads us to tip number seven. Study other analysts' code. If you get an opportunity to look at code from other analysts, take that opportunity. GitHub is a good place to go to sneak a peek at others' code if you don't know anybody to study from. Another good place is Stack Overflow, looking at answers and solutions from the questions posted. Sometimes when I'm looking through these answers, I wonder how the heck would anybody know this information? Which makes me conclude that they must be documentation scavengers. Which leads us to tip number eight, 
documentation scavenger hunt. I know documentation can be overwhelming and rather dull at times, but I have found that documentation can be a treasure trove of knowledge. If you commonly work with a particular library or framework, spending some time with the documentation is an amazing way to boost your skills and knowledge with that library or framework. Tip number nine, get connected. Join groups. Follow people on Twitter. There are some good Instagram accounts. Join Facebook groups or even my own Discord server. I'll link in the description below. You can attend meetups. There's actually an app called Meetup that is designed to help you find groups of people with similar interests. Obviously though, the best way to get connected is by joining my Discord community. These last two tips come from a fellow data science enthusiast, Archer, links to some of his work in the description. My question for you is, are you ready for the scariest tip of them all? Tip number 10, share your work. Share your work on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, my Discord server. Sharing your project can be really scary, but this adds a little extra motivation to do your best. Plus, if you're lucky, you might get some feedback and networking opportunities. Tip number 11, build a repository. When working on projects, build a repository of commonly used code. For example, I have a code base for my data visualizations. Admittedly, I do need to clean this code up a little bit, but this saves me a ton of time when I make a new visualization because I have the foundation built for me already. If you have any other tips, I would love to hear them. Please leave a comment and thank you for watching.